It's electric focus and one of the big benefits of electric cars is having an app and being able to control things remotely such as the air conditioning. And today we're going to look at the functionality of the Volvo XC40 Recharge app. So let's get straight into the video. So let's dive right in and have a look at the app. So when you first of all get to the front screen, which is the home screen, you'll see there's four icons to choose from. And then you have a view of the car, which I quite like, and you can see things that are on at the time. So for example, if you look in the windscreen, you can see there's a flashing red light, which indicates that the car is locked and alarmed. And then if you swipe the car to the right hand side, that then reveals the descriptions of each of those icons. So the top one is doors, so it shows you they're currently locked. And if you go into that icon, you can then unlock the car or lock it as you need to, which is handy, particularly if you've walked away and forgotten to lock the car. So when you go back to the main screen, the second one down is the climate control, which is the really key one. If we go into that section, you can either start the climate control immediately or if you want to set it, say, every day before you go to work to be ready for when you get into the car, you can go into the timer section and then you have the ability to set a timer, start time and day of the week and also repeat if you need to. And then the third icon is the air purification and you can start that remotely as well if you want to. And then the last one on the home screen is the charge icon, which just shows you the status. So currently unplugged. If you then go into that section, you can see the state of charge of the battery and the range. And if you go into the target battery level, which says 100% at the moment, you've got some different options there. So you've got some set options. You can set daily drive, which goes to 90%, long trip 100%, or you can go into custom and then you can use a slider to select the percentage state of charge you want it to finish on. And the next icon along at the bottom is the map icon. And that's handy for locating your car. So if, for example, you've parked in a big car park or in my instance recently, I was at the Goodwood Festival of Speed and parked in a massive field. And it was quite handy to be able to find my car when I came out. And also down the bottom, you've got some icons to search for charging in the local area or parking or hotels. The next icon along is a car icon. And if you go into that one, you can see things like your recent trips. If you go into the trips log or you can look at the statistics of the car. If you tap into statistics, you can see a bit more details, average consumption, average speed and the odometer. The next one along the chat icon is where you can find all the information you need to contact Volvo. Highly recommend using the chat on WhatsApp. It's really easy to use, very responsive, and you can get them at all times of day. So it's really handy. And then at the very end, you have the person icon, which is where you put all your personal details in. So overall, really like the app. If there was a little function I'd like to see added, and this sort of thing can happen because that's one of the beauties of apps that you can improve them over time. But I'd like to see on the air conditioning have an ability to select also the heated seats and heated steering wheel remotely. Now you can go into the car and go into the air conditioning settings and then select for the heated seats or the heated steering wheel or both to come on automatically when you put the air conditioning on that will be really handy in the winter but it would be nice to have that functionality on the app as well but besides that I think it's a great app easy to use I like the look of it very responsive so I hope that was useful as always thank you for watching and I'll speak to you soon